Wouldn't it be great if we could turn old things into new ones? Turn your old phone into new. Take kilometers off the dashboard of your old car. Well, with old asphalt roads, we can. We just have to take care of three things. First, we need to manage the milled asphalt. It has to be kept fractionated, homogeneous with low fines content and minimum moisture. Well-managed material then allows for a second step, mix design. The reclaimed asphalt binder has aged during the service, so to ensure that the pavement will provide a smooth driving experience for one more service period, it has to be rejuvenated. It turns out that petroleum or vegetable-based oil can be used for that, we just have to really make sure that it diffuses in the hard asphalt binder and makes it workable and elastic again. Well, unfortunately, the traditional mix design methods cannot really capture this. Extraction makes everything blend together artificially and volumetric tests don't have much use since 100% recycled asphalt has not been correlated to field performance. The solution is to use performance tests to balance rotting and cracking. Too much bitumen or rejuvenator will cause rotting and a mixture too lean or less than optimum rejuvenator content will cause cracking. If these changes cannot ensure the required performance, well, we'll have to go back to the whiteboard and choose different material combinations. Finally, we need an asphalt plant that can handle 100% recycling. The process has to be safe and ensure the required quality of asphalt pavement. Use of environmentally safe materials, homogeneous blending of all components and elimination of emissions from heating of wrap are the key ingredients for success. The three gears have to work together. If we oil them well, it is safe to say that asphalt is 100% recyclable.